I get this question all the time. Safrina, my bedroom is above the kitchen. That's actually absolutely fine. What you don't want is to have the stove uh, under the bed. So if I, so if you look at this layout here, okay? So the stove is right here, okay? Stove is right there. Let's say if there's a second uh, another second level on top of this, this level, you don't want the bed right under here. You do not want to be sleeping like this. And my clients who have been inadvertently sleeping like that, usually they have health issues that is relating to the part of their body that is hitting the stove. I had a client where it's uh, it's her neck, right? Her neck up where the stove is under uh, in the floor below. And she's got thyroid issues and migraines, doesn't sleep well. So that's for the stove. Now for toilet bowl, again, it's okay if there is a bathroom above your bedroom. What you don't want is for the toilet bowl to be above your bed. We don't care about the whole bathroom. What we want to see is just where the toilet bowl is. So if this is the upper floor, let's say this is the upper, uh, the upstairs bathroom. And let's say, you know, some homes have bedrooms in the main floor, right? So you just don't want your bed to be like downstairs like this. You do not want to be sleeping like that. And again, I get a qu questions all the time. So Frina, my bedroom is beside uh, the bathroom. Not a concern unless, unless, so again, we look at the toilet bowl there, right? We just don't want to be sleeping where the toilet bowl is, okay? It is fine if you're like off the side here. Even, even if you just miss the toilet bowl, so the toilet bowl is here, right? Toilet bowl is here. You just miss it by a little bit. That's it. That's all you need. That is all you need, okay? Oh, and going back to the kitchen, don't worry about the refrigerator, right? The refrigerator or the sink, that is fine. You can go, you can be under them. Uh, same thing, uh, uh, same thing with bathtubs. If you're sleeping on, uh, under the bathtub, that's still fine. The main thing is the toilet bowl. That's the only one. I've had a situation where, so the client stove is here. And above it, above it is the toilet bowl. The toilet bowl is right here. The husband's business wasn't doing well. Lucky enough, the husband is a contractor. <laughs> so I said, either move the toilet bowl or move the stove. In the end, they figured out moving the toilet bowl was easier. So what they did, Again, just slightly. They moved it just slightly here. It didn't have to be a big renovation. And that was it. That's already the remedy. Okay. Uh, is it the same problem with toilet bowl as stove health issues? Yes. Yeah. Stove is actually even more important because the stove is also, the stove is not just a symbol of how you feed your family by like making food for them but it's also your financial prosperity because you need money to buy food Are there remedies for sleeping above the stove? 
um, if you can't move your bed, then you sleep elsewhere. Especially if you're starting to have, it doesn't happen overnight, Marie, it doesn't happen overnight, but if you're starting to get health issues, you might want to think about your bed placement. Some clients, they love their king size bed, but because the bed is so big, I think there's even California king, right? Is California king reg bigger than a regular king size? I don't know. But they're so attached to their king size bed, they don't want to move their bed. So in that case, it's their karma. I've already told them what the situation is. It's their free will and their karma, whether or not they want to take that advice. I've done my part. It is. It is king size bed. Yeah, that's a, that's the situation. And I usually just tell my clients, if you can't move your bed, you sleep elsewhere. If you don't want to downgrade your bedside, sleep elsewhere. Marie says, my family member has issues in health. Stove is below on their pelvis. And it's the health issues around that area, right? 